The Queen, 95, missed the National Assembly of the Church of England but was represented by the Earl of Wessex. The Queen, known to be religious, is the head of the Church of England with the title of Supreme Governor of the Church. This is the first time in over 50 years of the General Synod's history that the Queen has not been present to speak to gathered bishops at clergy at Church House, which is the Church of England base at Westminster. The tradition over the past five decades has been that the Queen, coinciding with the diocesan elections, makes a visit to the Synod every five years. Prince Edward, 57, in one of his infrequent public engagements, read his mother's speech in her words, It is hard to believe that it is over 50 years since Prince Philip and I attended the very first meeting of the General Synod. None of us can slow the passage of time. And while we often focus on all that has changed in the intervening years, much remains unchanged, including the Gospel of Christ and his teachings. The Earl of Wessex read, For people of faith, the last few years have been particularly hard, with unprecedented restrictions in accessing the comfort and reassurance of public worship. For many, it has been a time of anxiety, of grief, and of weariness. He added, Yet the gospel has brought hope, as it has done throughout the ages, and the church has adapted and continued its ministry, often in new ways, such as digital forms of worship. The Queen's sentiments were clearly conveyed by her son despite her absence from the event, following a last-minute cancellation of her planned attendance at the Remembrance Sunday service at the Cenotaph over the weekend. A statement from Buckingham Palace said that the Queen was disappointed to miss the service, but, having sprained her back, she has decided this morning with great regret that she will not be able to attend today's Remembrance Sunday service at the Cenotaph.